There is a lot of pushback surrounding this proposal to build air curtain incinerators in Lutz. The facility would sit near homes and a school. News Channel 8's Nico Clemens is live for us in Lutz tonight. And Nico, people who live in that area are just not happy about this. They're not staying quiet about it at all. They're reaching out to county commissioners, uh, really anyone in power to express how they feel. Nothing but trees and woods back here right now, but uh, I'm standing at the entrance to this proposed uh, facility. People who live in this area, they say this is not the place to put it. In Lutz, many people feel the same way. Every single person I've talked to that's heard about this project is ready to leave Lutz if this gets passed. She's talking about a proposed permit for two air curtain incinerators, a device that burns trash, wood, yard waste, and other debris. We would like it to be somewhere else, not here. But there are concerns. The problem is, is we don't know how much pollution is going to be into the air, what we're going to be breathing in. Air pollution. Jen Messer lives in the promenade at Lake Park subdivision. Aside from the health impact and traffic concern, she says they're worried about their children. Asthma, cancer, uh, COPD. So this is the proposed entrance to the facility off Crystal Lake Road. And right across the street is a church. And homeowners say that's the concern, that it would sit so close to a church. Not just a church, it would sit close to a school, senior living facilities, and other neighborhoods as well. Building a facility like this in a residential, highly populated area in the backyard of children's is extremely inappropriate. A notice from the Hillsborough County Environmental Protection Commission addresses air quality impacts, saying this operation has the potential to generate smoke and dust. I reached out to Commission Chair Mariella Smith. She says she's very concerned about the air quality and the possible health impact. There are better places for a place like this to be built, and, and Lutz is not it, so go somewhere else. Messer, like many of her neighbors, is making sure her voice is heard. If you wouldn't build this in your own backyard, why would you think it's appropriate to build it in ours? Well, the commission's going to talk about this uh, application this Thursday, but next Tuesday, the 23rd at 6 p.m., there's a virtual community meeting. There is public comment. If you head to our website right now, WFLA.com, you can find out how to register and how you can join next week's virtual community meeting. Live in Lutz, Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.